Yo, what's up, everybody? How are you doing? And we are here with the next episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. You know, I've used this skin the last few times. I don't have any other cool skins, but I do have diamond skin. I kind of feel like using diamond skin this time. Um, but yeah, we're just going to play you playing some some good old Cthulhu. Um, hold on one second. Okay. All right, so here's my idea. We're going to go full cooldown, and we're going to win. <laughs> it's, it's, it is as simple as that. We're going to go full cooldown with some power, but rushing Chronos Pennant. Uh, I think I could start Blink here. Second, uh, what is it called? Shard Relic or whatever the hell it's called. Glowing Horn Shard to reduce our cooldowns. But yeah. Oh, you know, I don't actually use Cthulhu Diamond Skin that much. It's pretty, pretty good. But yeah, Cthulhu, we've already played twice before and lost both times, unfortunately. So, uh, hopefully it goes a little bit better this time. Uh, it is a little weird that I got him three times and we're not that far into the Guardian Gauntlet. So, very strange. Um, I do feel okay against Hachiman. I'm actually hoping to go Bobble, uh, if possible. So, Chronos Pennant, and then I could even go Breastplate Bobble immediately. And then sell breastplate later on or something like that. But I feel like that would be kind of fun. It's probably not worth trading like that. Let's group the minions. Try and hit him and the minions at the same time. Alright, good. Good, good, good. I cleared a little bit faster than him, but that doesn't help a crazy amount. Oh, he just used his shard thingy. Well, he got poked way harder than he did, which isn't great. He's also starting Devos, which is as expected on Hachi. I mean, he has so much MP5, you know, go transcend, or don't go transcend, right? Just go, go good old Devos. Let's max our one. It kind of sucks having to recall this early, but if I stay, I'm just going to lose red buff plus possibly die. So we'll back, come back to take our blue and clear wave. Uh, he's probably going to go for red. Yeah. Actually, I might be able to stop him at red. I'd have to give up the wave, though. And I don't think that's worth it to give up wave. We'll see. I do have blink. Oh. Oh, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Yes. <laughs> Got kind of lucky there that it took him so long to take that red buff. But I'll take it, I'll take it. Let's go take our blue right away. Okay, very good start. I don't think I should have gotten that kill, but I'll take anything when when playing uh playing a guardian oh i also kind of wanted to talk about some exciting stuff upcoming to smite i'm not gonna talk too much about it because uh patch notes are tomorrow probably the day that this video comes out because i'm recording this on the 7th of june and it'll probably be released on the 8th but yeah they they kind of released some teaser notes about the next season for you smite year 10 the season of souls and uh it looks pretty interesting uh there's gonna be like a capture point in conquest and the titans have a very cool mechanic i, I guess i don't want to talk about it too much in case people care about spoilers but uh it, i'm very i'm very excited about it a lot of i'm seeing a lot of negativity about it but i'll try to stay excited it looks kind of fun well we'll, we'll just have to see once the actual notes come out because they have only released like a teaser of notes on kind of describing what the season is. But we don't have the exact changes right now. That Hachiman stun's surprisingly good against Cthulhu. Also, that's his shard thing again. Which is good for me. I don't know if I should have used my shard there. It seems kind of like a waste. Uh, if he doesn't recall here, I might be able to kill him.
Oh, do I die for this? No. Surely not. Unless... I do have my alt. I do have my alt. Oh, I, I mean, I could alt, but I don't know if that would kill. That's why I'm kind of hesitant. He's losing a lot of XP and gold right now, though. Okay, unless he gets out of his safe zone, I'm okay with that. Did I not pick up the dual orb there? I swear I picked it up. I guess not. Cthulhu's body is just... I'm going to die here, actually. He's going to ult, ult me. I'll have my blink ready just in case. I placed a ward on top of my ward. Amazing. Okay, he's not coming for me. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, almost, almost misplayed there. Staying too long. That's all right. He definitely could have vaulted, but I did have blink to, like, blink over a wall. Uh, yep, breast, get breastplate. Get another ward. Kind of wasted my last one. Um, he has 16 stacks. We're doing really good. This is a good start. This is a good start. I want to make sure that we keep our lead here. It's very important, because if I die, he's going to get the revenge gold bonus or whatever, and it's going to be even game. To get red, I'm okay with that. Build-wise, he's doing good. He's building what I would probably build in this matchup if I was Hachiman. He is playing pretty risky, though, compared to most hunters. Kind of weird positioning there. I'm kind of between... He's between me and his minion wave, so I have to kind of choose where I what I want to go for. I mean, that's his escape down. I might go in for an alt here. I do a lot of damage in my ult. Oh, but I am scared of that he's going to ult bit me back. I have Chalice ticking, so I'm okay to stay for this next wave. Like, he can't kill me. Not yet, anyways. Man, he's staying really, really, really. I guess he really wants that at all. Ah, oh, that's his everything. Do I go for this? I feel like I do. Maybe that was a bad idea. Wait, I'm behind minions. He can't kill me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amazing. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, uh, I have dual ore before four seconds. Not that it, it's going to help me at all. Yeah, it's not going to help me at all at all. I'm just going to recall. <laughs> Man, I'm not, I'm not about dual orb. I'm a dual orb hater right now. Also, I know I'm already, I'm already overcapped, but we're going to get bobble immediately. I want that 50% cooldown third item. <laughs> but yeah, dual orb is just a big buff to all range characters. A slight buff to, like, melee characters. But Guardians, it's like a tiny, tiny buff. Like, Assassins get way more use out of it than Guardians. That's alright. I don't imagine the mechanic will stay forever. If it does, that would be insane. Look how often I'm able to get my abilities and stuff. I think I can still kill him here. Chase, throw it. Get out. There must be no yes. Oh my goodness. 4 0. What level is he? He's level 11. I'm level 13. Not bad, not bad, not too shabby. Are the treasure chests here? No. I got tower, though. Minion's getting tower. Amazing. Red buff's up, but he's going to take it. That's all right. All right, let's recall. He has executioner. That's fine. Let's get bobble. 
So I did hear. I, this is kind of dumb. The, uh, even though I'm Diamond Cthulhu, I don't play him. Like I don't play him very regularly. So I I was told in the comments of my last Cthulhu video that Cthulhu Alt every ability in Cthulhu Alt does proc things like Soul Reaver. So I I might go with Soul Reaver with this max cooldown build. I feel like my alt I'll just be getting a ton of procs with it. Uh, don't think I would go soul gem though. Probably not. Interesting. Yeah, my my one is on a four second cooldown. That's pretty short. I probably want a poly too. Maybe. Look how often I'm just able to do things. I always use the one in the alt before the two because it shreds protections. Or I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Oh no. He didn't use the. <laughs> he might just not play Hachiman that much. That might just be what it is because that alt was unfortunate. I think we've all done that as Hachiman. The first, when you use that all, it's kind of weird to control. We should definitely get this Phoenix because of dual orb. Or do I? No, I, I probably should be able to get it. At least I get half of it. Maybe not the entire thing. Okay, definitely not the entire thing. This bobble build though, kind of, kind of doing wonders. And then it, it reduces my protections, right? But Cthulhu gets mitigation whenever he uses his one and fears them or whatever it's called, right? Yeah, the damage mitigation. All right, buddy. You gonna stop my back? I mean, my alt came up there. I could have blinked in and <laughs> done some some shenanigans. Oh, he, once he gets Kinsize, his damage is gonna skyrocket though because Cthulhu's health pole is just so high. So I think I'll get Bancroft's Polly and then, I don't know, but no, wait, I want Soul Reaver. Hmm. Maybe Bancroft, Soul Reaver, then Obsidian? Something with pen. I need a lot of pen. I'm kind of about Obsidian. Uh, its passive doesn't really get wasted on Cthulhu. All of his abilities are pretty, pretty good abilities to, for it to proc on. Okay, that's actually a huge amount of damage from him. Huge amount of damage. Did he get his kin size? He did. Yep. That kin size did 488 damage. Wow. Oh, that the minion's going to stop my back. <laughs> he went left, right? He didn't go right for Demon King. <clears throat> yeah, we may be 5-0, and but this game is not over at all, especially because of that kin size. Kind of a wasted two there. Maybe I do go Polly instead of Soul Reaver. I'm not sure. Polly's better for taking Phoenix. Soul Reaver is better for fighting him. I'm wondering what I should sell Breastplate for a late game. Something with 10% cooldown, but also I need defense. I mean, I don't have to sell. I can just be overcapped on cooldown. It's not like it. It's too big of a deal. Once I get power potion, ooh, we taking big damage. Let's try and taunt him into Phoenix here. Oh, I thought it was ready. I guess it wasn't. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. 
I mean, maybe I just go double defense. Oh, he's going for Demon King. Let's see, where is... I'll give up the minion wave to defend this. Oh, he's not even going for it right now. But I should ward for it. Like, directly on it. He is going crit! Ooh, okay, maybe go Spectral. Maybe Spectral. Maybe Spectral, we say our pen is not as important right now. He is mitigating a lot, but... If, yeah, if he goes crit, I'm just going to get annihilated without Spectral. Alright, let's get that Soul Reaver online. That'll help with some damage. How much health does he have right now? He has 2,245. Okay, so we're getting a decent amount out of it, I guess. And as he hits level 20, it'll be even more. We do not want to give him this, this red buff. Very nice. Ooh, nice Sunder. He chases me at all. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're fine, we're fine. So we were hit for 92. 92 three times. Yeah, do need... What's the priority? Pen or Spectral, man? What's the priority here? Wow, that damage is insane. Spectral keeps me alive. I'm going Spectral. We can sell something for Pen. I could even sell Chrono's Pennant for something with 10% uh, cooldown, and that would work. 10% cooldown with Pen. Is there any items like that? There's, there's, there's like some, there's like East, and eh, Mirrodin's not good on Cthulhu. My ult's kind of my finisher, it's not really an ult to initiate with. Especially not against a hunter that has kin size crit. Let's use our alt. Might as well use. I have max cooldown. I should be ulting as often as I want. Quite honestly. That range is kind of annoying. I could kill him with blink here, but he does have shell, and that's what he's baiting me on. And if you pop shell, I might not be able to kill him fast enough. But if I get his escape, then I'll feel more confident blinking in. Because now his thing's down. Okay, that's assault. Maybe the play would have been to chase there, but I did want to get the minion wave. But fights like that are okay. I mean, I have my ult again in 14 seconds. That's insanely fast. All right, let's get Spectral. Glyph, I guess. Bancroft's Claw is fine. Anything with 10% cooldown. <clears throat> Could go Spear of Desso. I'm actually not a huge fan of Desso, but that would give me 15 pen. He doesn't have def uh, double pen, so I mean, even just any flat pen would help a lot. Obviously, you wouldn't get the Chronos passive, but that's all right. Definitely don't want him recalling there. Good damage, good damage, good damage. This is very good for us. 
right, that's his ult, but he's in a very scary spot. I'm going to try to catch his dash. Nope, he didn't dash there. There's his dash. Ah, uh, he's too far now. I can't chase that. I mean, I can, like, kind of chase it to make sure he doesn't lazy back, but that's about it. Oh my god, I even had my Aegis. I was like, okay, but okay, he's doing a lot of damage. I better press Aegis, and I didn't press it in time. Oh my god, that's so much damage, dude. <sighs> that sucks. Oh, what could I sell this for, man? <laughs> Contagion, that would be funny. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe I do need Divine. I think we have to kiss the Bobble Dream goodbye. Let's sell this for a divine. We'll still have 40% cooldown with this build. But not 50 anymore. This gives us pen, anti-heal, gives a lot of things I need. And it's kind of a last ditch effort. Because it does seem like I need that double defense. I mean, look at that insane amount of damage. If I sell my any more defense, I'm screwed. And he only has execution for pen, really. I mean, Devos has some flat pen. 15. Same as Divine. Oh, getting some lag spikes. I don't know. Oh, he has dominance. I think it's over, you guys. No. Five and one, and we'll lose this game. Insane. That damage is absolutely nutty. We have to keep doing this dance around my Titan. He kills me just so fast. Wow, it's so hard trying to zone him while clearing the wave at the same time. And trying to make sure I don't die <laughs> because he kills me pretty much instantly. At this point, how much am I even mitigating? I'm still mitigating over half damage, which is the insane part. So so selling my defense is not the play. I'll die way faster. I think overall our build is as good as it's going to get. Except for once I get 3k pot, that will help a ton. He's super low here. This might be our chance to go in. Yeah, he's going to get out of there. Makes sense. He's probably going to go for Demon King here, which will suck for me, but I can't I can't stop it. I will say this Soul Reaver is not doing anything for me. It's not. It's genuinely not. Rod would give me way more damage. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's truly unfortunate. I don't think I would have been able to keep that Phoenix anyways, but giving it up for free to Minion Wave is not great. Let's kill this guy over here. That way I get a little bit of movement speed when I'm fighting him. How long on my Power Potion? 100 seconds? Okay. Wow, oh, okay. That's game, dude. That's literally game. <laughs> dude, that's insane. Five and one, but that damage. Look, incoming damage, 10,600 incoming damage. Mitigated 6,000 of it. Oh, my lord. Hunters are pretty good right now. I don't... <laughs>
Cthulhu, I think the way we're going to win with Cthulhu is we're going to have to fight. It's going to have to be a very specific matchup, or I'm just going to have to push the early game way more. Because late game, once they have Kinsize, it's, it's Kinsize plus Executioner plus Dominance, even if they don't have Crit. Or they, it's like those three items will kill Cthulhu guaranteed no matter what. So I don't know. Unfortunately, we lost again, but what are you going to do, right? All right, let's roll the wheel for the next Guardian. If it's Cthulhu, I'm re-rolling, though. I don't want to play Cthulhu again. <laughs> At least not right away. Ymir, all right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank goodness. All right, so Ymir will be the next one for the Guardian Gauntlet, and that'll be a lot more fun, hopefully. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I played it the best I can. I'm sorry I lost again, but... Uh, that's just the way it goes. I did really, really try my best. Here's the stats for anyone that cares. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.